Oh, ow. Ow, I touched it. Hello, and welcome back to Minecraft. Last we left off, we brought the lovely villagers back home. We mined and went crazy down in our mine shaft by not finding any diamonds. And today has actually been the update of the new Trails and Tales update of 1.20 in Minecraft. So today, I'm going to go and try to explore and find any of the new biomes, because I know that even though I started this map, it generates in chunks. So all the chunks that are past what I've already explored are going to generate with the new update. Well, the old chunks are going to look exactly the same as they do now. And I also intend to take advantage of our lovely little villagers and expand. And so, off we go. And it looks like first our entire farm is ready to go, so we're definitely going to farm. Oh, you turd, I barely heard you. I know it was night time, but like it just turned night. I'm gonna go back inside and I'm gonna go to sleep. Now that my farm has a giant hole blown in it. Oh look, another lovely creeper. Stupid skeleton creepers and all kinds of other crazy mobs. Speaking of, I have a whole bunch of villagers and I have a whole bunch of crap to trade them. Oh, you now give terrible trades again? Whatever. I have too much of it anyway. Oh, I guess his experience bar is filled up. And I can buy cake or suspicious stew. I don't think I'm gonna buy anything suspicious from you guys. And he's level up again. Now I can buy golden carrots from him and glistering melon slices. We'll go ahead and come by our chickens. Hello. And breed them all. So we can never have too many arrows. Oh, the little baby get some. And so we'll make a compass so that while we're out and exploring we can actually come back home. Uh, it looks like it's pointing towards our bed. That's not particularly where I want it to go and point towards. Now, I did see on the intro that there was some new stuff that we can make. And eventually I do want to go to a desert, so I would like to have a brush with me, but I have no idea how to get the brush. For now, I guess we'll make the smithing table and see what it does. Alright, what do you do? I can upgrade my gear, add a smithing template. Oh, so this is how we change what our armor looks like and add trims and such. I guess this is what it'll look like at the end. That's kind of cool. I also think this is also used as like a profession block. Did he change professions? Did he become something better? Did he evolve? What happened to him? Oh, he did change. Got like a belt and everything what do you what do you do there we go oh what a trade 15 coal for an emerald or an emerald for a stone axe that, those are terrible buddy at least give me a hoe since that trade deal you might as well be fuck we can now make the brush it looks like it doesn't have a durability and it's nighttime so we're going to bed again we're next to an ocean anyway so we might as well head down it and what i really want to find is i really want to find a desert and I want to try out the new brush. Oh, this is not an ocean? Please tell me it leads to the ocean. Kind of, you know, set up my home here thinking this was going to be an ocean. It is not, but there are some big mushrooms right there. This has got to be an ocean, please. It looks mighty vast. And there's some like kelp stuff everywhere, which someone said, I guess, if I put these kelp on top of a soul sand will make like a little elevator to make traveling upwards much quicker. Once I get soul sand, I'll definitely have to try it out. And this looks like a lot of sand, but it might just be a big beach. Looks like just normal sand. I guess somewhere there's suspicious sand. That's a whole lot of turtles. Mm, I just see sand here. Well, I guess it's back in the boat we go. Oh, what? A dolphin? It kind of just like popped up and jumped right back into the water. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, what's that thing? Like there's something in the ocean other than kelp. Mm, it's just a strange line mass. No, oh, we can just pick up some of the kelp. Another dolphin. That is so cool that they kind of jump up. Oh, the, color of the ocean is changing. That's weird. From like a dark blue to like a light turquoise teal almost. Was that one of those weird swamp trees that I saw? That definitely looks like a big swamp tree. Look at those things. Maybe a silk touch, I can take them. Looks like we can make muddy mangrove roots. Why would we want to do that? I wonder if we can grow trees from them. Well, I guess nothing here. We got some mangrove roots, so maybe it'll grow if we take it home. I'm still on the quest to get a desert somewhere. And it would be kind of nice to find a cherry blossom biome. That'd be kind of cool, too. Oh, well, these are some weird little trees, too, like little mushroom trees. They may be surrounding me, but there's no desert over here. I think we found a jungle, which I'm okay with normally, but because it's nighttime, I get to fight all these turds. I know there's a creeper somewhere over here, so come on out. There you are. Oh, there's a lot more than just one. Great, bring your family, bring your kids. Just, just a big old party. Definitely take some cocoa beans. I definitely want some bamboo as well. Since it's nighttime anyway, I want to collect some jungle tree seeds if I can. All of those leaves and not a single tree sapling. Oh, we finally got one. It only took an entire treetop to get one, but we got one. Yeah, we got a second one. 
stupid skeleton. Ah! How can you see me from all the way over there? Well, I'm gonna leave your radius, and I'm just gonna have you despawn, you turd. I don't even have to worry about killing you. And your existence just ends. It is nice that they added some bamboo to the jungle. Makes it look less leafy. I mean, it's still pretty leafy, but slightly less. And this is a massive jungle. Holy crap. Oh, what is that? Is that a whole bamboo forest? Goodness, that's a lot of bamboo. Oh my god, are those what I think they are? Oh my god, it's a panda bear. Are you friendly? Can I give you bamboo? Oh my god, that is the most adorable thing ever. Holy crap. It sits down and chews on the bamboo that I gave it. And I guess it's tame too. Oh, I gotta see if this works. Was that a no? Do you guys not want to breed? Well, I guess I can't make them breed, but that is adorable. Collect a little bit more bamboo and continue searching. Ooh, melons! I think this is what the trader wanted as like his last trade. He wanted to buy melons. So now we can trade melons to him. So we start a nice farm for him. I remember the days when you would run into something going quick in a boat and it would shatter into sticks and planks. That was a terrible time. You would like turn a corner and oh, your boat's just been exploded. You sneezed in your boat, planks and sticks. Oh, lovely. That is what you want to see, a giant leafy jungle with a lava pool in the middle of it. Good luck everything in this jungle, you guys are screwed. Because it may be tamed for now because of the rain, but it won't be forever. Oh, we got a bird. That is adorable. Do you want seeds? Please tell me you want seeds. You want an axe in the face. That's what you want. All right, I got 10 seeds. Is that enough for you? Yay, we got him. Now he loves us forever. Does he follow us? Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's a jungle nether portal. Oh, that's awesome. Iron ingots. Gold axe with sharpness five. Holy crap. Some obsidian. Protection one. A fire charge. Some flint. Can we just use this? No. I think fire charges have to be shot out of dispensers. I almost forgot to mine up the gold blocks. I saw those. I was like, that's kind of cool. We can just take gold blocks. Completely forgot to, you know, take them. We may not be able to take this strange way, can we? It is taking forever, though, so I have a fear it's just going to break. It's not going to give us the obsidian. Yup, I was right. Didn't give us jack diddly. I hope our little bird follows us home. That was one of the yellow head. Oh, and there's a blue one. Will you love me with just three? You do! Oh, that's awesome. Now we have a red and a blue. More melons. Zombie. Spooky, scary skeleton. That sounds like a baby zombie. I think we're literally trapped right here. I don't think there's a way up and over or around. We got spiders, skeletons, baby zombies, just normal zombies, creepers, all the good fun nonsense. Yeah, I hear you little zombie. I don't want to deal with you though. I'm just trying to find my way back to the ocean. That's two creepers. Here's the bamboo forest that I liked. The two cute pandas that didn't want to mate. You know, this would probably have been a better idea than going under. We can just parkour on top of the trees. Nothing spawns on leaves for some reason. Ow. And then we have trees level with the dirt, so that's good. I want to murder these zombies, but I can't if the birds are here. Now I guess we wait for day up here, because I think that one zombie may have called his friends. And I know there's a baby zombie somewhere down there. I can hear him. And I think the ocean is this way. So as soon as it becomes day, we're going to sprint that direction. Hope that creepers and skeletons don't spawn in front of our face, and we can just run through them. Oh, what? You turd. Oh, he shot me in the butt. Where were you hit? In the butt talk, so. Oh jeez, not quite what I wanted to do. It was not as graceful as I wanted, but it works. And when it works, I mean, it's gonna have to. We're just gonna sprint. I think we went in a big circle. That's the nether portal. I think this is gonna be our way back to the ocean. This doesn't look like the ocean. This just looks like a lake. I hope my birds didn't get left behind. hope once we make landfall, our birds will spawn next to us. Birdies? I don't hear them. I don't think they're following us. That's stupid. Why don't they spawn to me like the dogs do? What the heck is this place? It's all colorful. Colorful and sandy and it's starting a nice little grass fire. What's up between the trees? Is that a structure like a little house? Yeah, there's one up there, too. Is there a village? Oh, I'm gonna loot you guys. It is a village. Oh And they have like different clothes and everything that waterfall just spawned into existence Same with that one not sure what those blocks are doing. Oh, it's like a little terraced garden So we're gonna see what we can oh, that's a whole like melon stack over here Kick open the door and see what all we can loot the 
butcher. Rabbit stew. Oh, I think this is the smoker. Yep. And did he change jobs? Yes, he did. I think he's an unemployed now. So they have to have some kind of work job. And so a smoker makes a butcher. If we want meat, we need a butcher. For a clerk, so we could sell rotten flesh to this dude. We need a brewing stand, which we're, we're just going to take the brewing stand. And we can mine up the bell. And what are these blocks? Oh, hay bales. And they can make wheat. Ooh, so they're kind of like blocks of wheat. We can sell this. We have a whole stack of this. That gives us nine stacks of wheat to sell back at home. So in this house, here's a chest with an acacia tree. This must be what the trees are around here. I'll give you some kelp. I don't think you've ever seen kelp before. Being that you're like a deserty village. And this house up here is kind of just by its lonesome. Do you have anything good? You don't. So I'll have some more houses up here that I want to loot. Oh jeez, ow, gosh dang it, I missed. Yo, oh, blast furnace, and what the heck is this thing? Orange glazed terracotta, that's pretty cool. And there's one last house up here to check through, and he's got a chest with bread, tall grass, and seeds. And we're many thousands of blocks away from home, but we're gonna just sleep through the night here, just because I don't want to deal with the night. Now that looks like a desert. No, so it goes so steep, that's dangerous. Now I saw ages and ages ago people do this water bucket thing oh, i'm just gonna do it the normal human being way i don't think i have fast enough reflexes but i was gonna try the water bucket thing and then the skeleton ow shot me in the butt don't break my butt he's breaking my butt that looks like a desert to me there's little bunnies that's awesome oh what is this down here this must be what the coral blocks came from what are these glowing things bee pickles this is really cool. There's all kinds of colors of coral. Can we take any of it? No. Oh, I'm drowning. I got distracted. Ow. Oh, that's a baby drowned. Look how much coral there is. This is like a whole coral reef full of fish and coral and baby drowned. I have no idea what the suspicious sand is supposed to look like. I see a desert well. It may not be a temple or something along those lines, but hopefully this will have something. It would make these things so much more useful. Oh, it's got like a little X on it. Advancement made, respecting the remnants. Brewery prod. Sherd? Shurd. We don't grab shards around these parts. We just grab shards. I did see another abandoned well down here. It doesn't look a whole lot different. It just looks slightly darker. Yeah, looks a little like dirty almost. Suspicious stew. Yeah, that's that's what I want. Well, it bonds up. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That was a stupid little thing. Screw you. And we'll take a little bit of cactus, because I don't have any cactus at home. And we'll go ahead and take a look at what else we can find. We're looking for slightly dark tinted sand. I'm not entirely sure if it's just in structures or if it can spawn naturally around. It would suck if it was only in structures because deserts sparsely have crap, you know, because they're deserts. No one wanted to settle in them before, still no one wants to settle in them. Years and years ago, I did a challenge for a desert only run and it went just about as much as you expected. Because it turns out if you turn generating structures off and it's a desert only world, there are no trees at all ever so you can't do anything well I mean except for die all oh, right we're hungry these are different kind of zombies what the heck they hit you with hunger oh, I see another village so I'll stop there steal all their stuff and then continue on my desert exploration good night bread some more acacia trees oh you guys have just some banners chilling out here too that's awesome what do you have in here the heck is this thing are you a profession block as well cartographer so I guess that creates a cartographer then which I guess can sell you empty maps that's kind of cool definitely gonna take their bell I want to know what this thing is so the Smoker makes the butcher, and the lectern makes the cartographer. Cartographer, bread. And there's empty maps in here, too. Ooh, so many goodies. I want it all. I need a bigger inventory. No, just give me an infinite inventory, please. Cartography table. Oh, okay. Well, that makes a whole lot more sense. The cartography table goes with the cartographer. Don't know what the lectern goes to, but oh, here's another clerk with another brewing stand that I will take. Weaponsmith. Ooh, a sharpness two sword. Pair and disenchant. And the weaponsmith goes with the grindstone. Here's some more bread, and acacia, and emeralds. Well, I think that's that village officially looted. I've learned a couple more things. So now it's back to the desert to see if we can find any more little structures with any more suspicious looking sand. 
sand and that looks like more structures yeah they're definitely little structures it's a little desert village uh right after i got done telling everybody that no one wants to live in deserts and not too far away here's a whole village dedicated to living in the desert fletcher Ooh, i can buy arrows and this is the fletching table i saw that i can buy arrows from i don't have to worry about murdering chicken and what why why do you have this villager that's the dumbest little room i have ever seen it literally just goes to nowhere are these sea pickles yep they're land-based sea pickles you guys have a bell oh is that a new critter it's the camel oh that is awesome i guess we'll take your little hay bales all right, bud, I'm going to bed here. No, I have not seen any suspicious sand. I guess maybe the suspicious sand is only for the abandoned structures. Then we're still on the lookout for desert temples and abandoned wells. You know, I'm not seeing too much, so I'm going to go ahead and blink twice. Clear out all the sand in them and take a look at what we got around us. It's like more desert sprawls in that direction. So we're going to go in that direction. That looks like a temple to me. Oh yeah, here's the sand. Is that just a diamond? I've had better luck digging in the sand than I have my mine. Is it just one suspicious sand, nothing else? I don't want to go down here, but I know that there's a pressure plate with a bunch of TNT below. Golden apples. I do kind of want that iron horse armor. We'll see what else we got in here. Golden apple, iron, diamond horse armor. Holy crap. Yeah, I want that. We can make some gold ingots. That means we can take all of this good fun stuff. We also have the iron nuggets, so we can make some iron ingots. So we can take all this good fun stuff. Then we can leave this lovely temple behind, because it looks like it only had that one suspicious sand. Here's some more colorful mountains with, I believe, an abandoned fountain. Is that a stick? Really? You know, like the stick of truth or something? No, you just... You're just a normal stick. A super rare thing to find some suspicious sand because you need to find a freaking little abandoned structure to even get it. And you're going to get me a stick. I think it's time for the joyous trip home. We're only about 3,000 blocks in every direction away from home. Oh no. Oh no, it's a beautiful mine shaft. Are you kidding me? Oh, thank gosh, it's a terrible one. I was going to say, I'm going to have to explore this. I love exploring little mine shafts and finding all the chests and stuff in there. But thankfully, it was like one of the worst I've ever seen. One that spawned just two little pieces in it. And this little divot here. Now I'm back to a normal desert, so maybe it'll have something else. Maybe a fountain that won't give us a stick from a super rare freaking digging material. Stupid thing. Give us freaking sticks. And there appears to be nothing more over here. Yeah, we've got about 4,000 blocks of travel in this direction. What is that little tower thing? Is that an underwater desert temple? No, oh, that's like a little structure though. Like a little archway. No, I need air. Need air. Need air. Need air. Screw you. Is that a trident? Yeah, those tridents are getting closer. Nah, never mind. Fine, you can have your luck of the sea friggin' two fishing rod. I don't want it for that. The heck is that thing? It's giant glowy. And what the heck are those things? What is that thing? It's massive. Like a spiked little puffer fish. Ow! Very angry spiked puffer fish. Well, I definitely want to go back to that at some point. What the heck was that noise? What are you? What is that little puffer fish? That's cute. Oh, ow! Ow, I touched it. I shouldn't have touched it. I thought it was cool. It was not. It was evil and poisonous. Or venomous, I suppose. And there is our massive warehouse. I see you. And we're back at home. I want to see. Can this bamboo grow anywhere? I think it can. Because it didn't drop any seeds or anything for me to collect. But I don't think it needs seeds. You already grew? Don't be shy now that I'm watching you. I want to watch one pop into existence. There we go. And they do just grow rapidly. I do want to see if these mangrove roots just grow on their own. So I'm just going to slap them in here and see what happens. Jeez, that bamboo grows really fast. But we have something else planned. Something that I've been dreading that I don't want to do, but I'm going to have to. Make some polished deep slate. We're going to travel back to our lovely mine. And of course, we're going to make a flint and steel. And and we're gonna make a nether portal. This is the place I've dreaded the most. But in we go. Lots of lava as per usual. Lots of lava. I remember that. And I don't remember this. I don't remember a forest being in the nether. Very strange place for a forest. Shroom lights. Weeping vines. 
Crimson Roots? What is all this stuff? Nether Wart Block. Can I turn it back into Nether Wart? That'd be nice. Terrified of what that thing is. Where are you? You don't look friendly. You don't sound friendly either. I don't like being here. Ow. Nether Rack? Nope. Don't like it. Don't trust it. I hear sounds. Oh, and you have a crossbow. I'm pretty sure mobs can go through the nether portal, so I'm gonna pop through on this side. Kill you in my world, you little turd. That bamboo has already grown. Look at that. That is insane. Well, we may not have found a whole lot more diamonds. We at least found one. And we didn't get to really expand our village a whole lot, but we did go on a massive exploration journey thousands of blocks away from our home. We met a camel. We got stung by a puffer fish. And we got a stick from a friggin' rare sand. And we learned a whole lot more about the villagers and their occupational blocks. And so hopefully next time I can utilize that knowledge to expand my villager army and make the equipment necessary to actually go into the nether without being terrified of everything that breathes and moves. And hopefully we'll grow our lovely farm with all the new farmable blocks. But that is all the time that I have for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys did, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one.